to go ahead and um, load up the trucks. Let's get all the gear. We can load mags here, prep gear here, so the moment we get to the range, put the gear on, let's go. Um, for now, finish eating, let's clean up, and let's, uh, let's get moving. Let's go. So today we're here at the range playing with brand new product from Safariland. These are the RDS holsters. Technology advances every day. It's, it's, new stuff is coming out every single day and it's not gonna stop. It's gonna continue to go forward. As this technology advances, Safarling is doing a wonderful job of making sure that they're keeping up with the times and making sure that the officers, uh, military personnel, law enforcement, everyone is getting taken care of. The beauty of these holsters, there's actual legitimate active locking systems that keep the weapon housed in the holsters and only gonna come out when you want it to. In my testing and evaluation that I've done so far, there's absolutely no issues in terms of speed. So this one in particular is the 6365 RDS holster. So what differentiates this from most of the other RDS holsters is this uh, gives you three points of retention. The first point of retention is the actual holster itself, the kydex surrounding the holster. Boom. Second part is going to be the ALS, which stands for Safari Lane's automatic locking system. The beauty of this automatic locking system, it's super simple. All you got to do is get a purchase on the gun, get a grip, and with a slight motion of your thumb, you unlock the weapon from the holster itself. You can get a good draw. Afterwards, we have the SLS, which stands for the Safari Land self-locking system. Um, it's a manual hood that goes over the top of the gun, protecting the gun from coming out. As you place the fire with the holster, there's a suede on the side, so it prevents marring and kind of scratching of anything on the gun itself. These brand new RDS holsters are made for inclement weather. With the RDS hood that goes over the top of the optic, it's protecting the optic from dirt, debris, water, um, any kind of the elements as you're sitting outside in the range. Plenty of times on previous holsters, I've ran this gun in a holster with an open top. And so the issue comes into play now, um, you get pools of water, mud, dirt, debris, depending on what you're doing, running around, whatever. And so when you draw the weapon with intent to use it, what ends up happening is you get a messed up sight picture. It's completely horrible to look through and it's hard. So far that understands the need to protect this gear that's protecting us. Uh, whether it be from their body armor, their holsters, or anything of the sort, uh, they understand the importance of protecting the gear that could potentially save your life, and that's important. Thank <laughs> you.